This is the Sonos Arc that I have right in front of me here and it was launched in June of 2020. So I have been actually living with the Sonos Arc for the last three years. Today is June of 2023. So while I've been enjoying it, the best thing that really happened to the Sonos Arc came about when the ERA 300 was launched. Now the ERA 300 adds six channels of sound to your Sonos Arc. What are the six channels? You have two more rear surround speakers and you have two side surround speakers. So that's four. And there will be two more from the upward firing speakers firing rear Atmos Heights channels. So that's a total of six. Now, despite the ERA 300 adding so much to the sound of the Sonos Arc, it has one small problem that Sonos has not fixed as of June 2023. To be precise, today is the 17th of June 2023. And what is that problem? I don't want to bait you to the end of the video before I tell it to you. So like in all my videos on my channel, I try to give you the upfront summary and the answer is that they haven't fixed one surround sound level problem. Now, you can go into the Sonos app and you can adjust quite a few parameters for the Sonos sound home theater setup that you have. And one of the things you can adjust is actually the surround level. Now, realize that I told you that it adds two more channels of rear surround and two more channels of side surround. But there's only one slider for controlling the surround levels on the Sonos Arc setup with the ERA 300. And that one slider is supposed to be able to adjust the levels of the side surrounds as well as the rear surround. Now, the best implementation is, of course, if the sliders were separated and you can adjust side surround and rear surround independently, but because it only has one slider, it should adjust both. But it doesn't adjust one of them. The rear surround levels are not adjusted when you push up or you pull down the surround levels. Now, Sonos has recognized that it is an issue and they are trying to put a fix in. But since it's launched earlier in the year, I think it was March of 2023, and now it's June, it has still not been fixed. Now, we are looking forward to 15.5 of the S2 Sonos app, as well as the firmware version update. As of 15.4 today, it has still not been fixed. Now, we are probably going to be expecting a launch maybe on the 20th of June 2023 and with 15.5 maybe that problem will be solved. Now if you are affected by this issue or if you find that this is something that is of interest to you, do remember to subscribe, like this channel, ring the notification bell along with the subscription and you will be notified when the video drops. Now let me explain a little bit more in detail about this problem so that you understand how much it might impact you or, you know, if it is not a problem at all. I know I have been living with the issue, but it is not a problem for me. Basically, I have the ERA 300 set up right there. It is to my rear. Now, this is where my TV is. I'm sitting at this position and my ERA 300s are flanking me on the rear to the sides. All right, so let's get to the problem. Now, in order to find out what the problem is or to listen to the problem yourself, you need help because most movie materials are not going to play specific rear surrounds or side surrounds independently for you to be able to tell the difference. So what I have here on screen, this is a Dolby Atmos test tone file which I will put the link somewhere, maybe in QR code here or in the video description down below so that you can download it for yourself and test it out. Now, this test file is for a 7.1.4 setup, which is actually what the Sonos Arc is when it's paired with a subwoofer and a pair of ERA 300s. Now, there are seven surround speaker channels here, right? So you have the front, left, right, and the center, and it's flanked by the rear surrounds, which are these two over here, and it's also flanked by side surrounds, which are these over here. Now, the side surrounds are actually simulated by the ERA 300 because the ERA 300 has side speakers, the inner drivers, which is facing the rear, the inside, the middle of the uh, sitting position, and the side surrounds, which are actually uh, fired off by the outer drivers of the ERA 300. And the ERA 300 also has high speakers, which is the upward firing driver, firing this particular speakers here for the height effect. So the ERA 300 adds a total of six channels. Now, what this file does is that when you play it, it will play some white noise. It's a little bit noisy now. Okay. 
so it will cycle through each and every channel and play the white noise so that you can hear for yourself what kind of levels now when you use the sonos s2 app from there when you adjust the um, tone or you adjust the levels of the surrounds you will then be able to hear the difference and one particularly interesting effect that you can try out is actually when you adjust the heights channel and the upward firing drivers from both the arc as well as the era 300 is going to have heightens heighten height effects okay so let's get to it right every time it plays the white noise it will play for about a minute or so so you will skip to the relevant parts within the video uh, where it will play the different signals through the various speakers so what we have here is we are now playing the side surround for the left side surrounds right when you play it it is supposed to fire off sounds from the outer drivers of the era 300 it's a little bit noisy now okay i better stop it and when you move on to the next channel of uh firing say the rear surrounds then the inner drivers for the era 300 will fire off so this is where the issue is when you use the sonos s2 app to adjust the levels of the surrounds it is only impacting the side surround levels right so your side surround levels will go up and down but when you are playing the rear surround levels the slider doesn't actually impact the volume control there at all so this is a recognized problem by sonos and they have said that they will fix it when i'm not very sure hopefully soon in a couple of days so zooming into the era 300 speakers there are speakers drivers here as well as here so i'm referring to this side as the outer drivers and this side is the inner drivers the outer drivers will fire the side surrounds which bounces against the wall to reach your main listening position and the inner drivers are the ones firing the rear surrounds that will bounce against the rear wall to reach you or maybe you know take a direct path to your main listening position so that you're hearing the rear surrounds now when i say that the rear surrounds are not impacted the values are not impacted or rather the levels are not impacted by the s2 amp so these are the drivers that aren't actually being controlled by the surround level slider this side the outer drivers for the side surrounds they are still being controlled so does this affect you yes maybe maybe not right but the only time when it makes a difference is when you are actually adjusting the surround levels now when you adjust the surround levels remember the side surround levels are still being adjusted it's only the rear surround the ones firing from the inner drivers that are not being adjusted so you will still hear a difference in the levels of the surround when you adjust the volume slider for the surround channels now when you are doing that and when you are watching regular movies you can't really actually pinpoint and tell where the difference is it might just sound a little bit off and not what the producers intended but for most practical reasons for day-to-day -day use, you're not going to find the difference at all. So if you actually have never ever felt this issue before, likely you're not impacted. And again, it only impacts people who are actually changing the surround levels, right? If you're not changing the surround levels as of right now, then this is not a problem for you. But another more common widespread problem that has been reported since people started getting their hands on the ERA 300 is the fact that the center driver, because there's one more center driver on the ERA 300, and it is not firing when it's in surround mode. So when you are playing 7.1.4 uh, material or Dolby MS material, we are using the ERA 300 as the surround speakers, the center channel is not actually being used. Now, just imagine this way. If you look at where my ERA 300 uh, is sitting, it's actually positioned a little bit angle off. And where the camera is, is probably where I am going to be sitting roughly around there. And from there, the center driver is actually not firing in any kind of direct sound to your ears at all. So it's depending on the side drivers to spread the load, right? The outer drivers to spread the um, side surround and the inner drivers to spread the rear surrounds and you don't fire off this now i know a lot of people are saying that this is a problem why not just fire it off because you paid for it right but my issue is that it is probably intentional and i hope sonos doesn't cave in on that now if you are using the era 300 as a pair of music speakers in stereo mode or even on its own 
it will use the center driver and that's where the voices come and that's where it projects a uh, dialogue and it projects uh, the singer's voice uh, from the front. So yes, I don't think that Sonos is going to fix it, but you know, maybe due to uh, pressure from the consumers and from the users, they might activate it. I hope they leave it as an option to activate or not to activate because I don't think I want this uh, channel to fire off and reach my ears directly. I'd rather have a smoother surround bubble around me when the load is being spread by the side surrounds and the rear surround channels. So again, don't let this problem stop you because I do think that the Era 300s are the best addition that you can add to your Sonos Art soundbar as of today, June of 2023. Now, there has been some rumors of the Sonos Art getting a refresh, maybe to the Art 2, and it has been you know, three years since the Sonos Art was launched in June of 2020. So maybe it is on the horizon. We don't know. There's still a couple of months before Sonos announces its second product of 2023. If you are interested in that kind of things, do stay tuned on this channel because I cover a lot of Sonos products. In fact, I cover almost all the Sonos products. Or it could be a new Sonos Move 2. I don't know, all right? If you are interested in that kind of stuff, Stay tuned and I'll see you in one of these videos talking about either the Sonos Art or the Sonos Moves, which I have covered extensively before too.